Welcome to Bitwise Learning. In this video, we're going to see how to create cloud architecture diagrams in just one minute. Let's get started. What are all the tools we require to create the architecture diagrams easily? One, we need ChatGPT and open source Python package diagrams. Before we dive into the live demo, let's understand what is diagram as code paradigm. Diagram as code is a method of creating and managing diagrams using text-based code instead of traditional graphical tools like draw.io and then lucidchart and coral draw and different other systems. What is the benefit we get using diagrams as code? Uh, the first benefit I see is rather than you spending a lot of time in graphically aligning the different boxes you can as long as you have the solution details you can just make use of ai to generate the code that's the first benefit i see which is very fast the other one the version control because you're gonna embed this into your code repository you can see the previous version and you can update like how you do it for other business logics and you are able to keep the diagram up to date most of the problems uh, in the enterprise is not enough documentation or not up to date documentation because it lives with the code you could able to update it then and there there is a change in the architecture the fourth one is reusability when i say that let's say usually all the projects you're gonna create within vpc you know like some of the components you can just copy paste the template code which is boilerplate code then you can proceed Okay, let's get into the live demo. I have also published this content in Medium as well as a blog. So I'm just right there. And so what are all the prerequisites? We need diagrams package and graph -wiz. Let's go on install one by one. So I'm in visual studio code let me create the directory for diagram as code and let me move in there and let me open that folder here let me go to terminal and create the new virtual environment so python and the version virtual environment let me name it as diagram yeah it's creating the virtual environment called diagram so usually it's best practice to create a separate virtual environment for your project so that rather than installing your package globally you can install in the just the virtual environment and also for example after you built your code and you have deployed a couple of dependencies only those dependencies you can put it in a requirements file using freeze so it is beneficial that way as well and also isolated environment yeah so the virtual environment is now created let's activate the virtual environment now it is activated let's install the diagrams package yeah 
yeah the diagram is installed uh, the one other thing we need is graph viz so let me go there in the downloads page and for windows you can install based on operating system um, the minus windows 64 bit so i'm gonna download this installer and yeah, it's downloading <coughs> So, so please make sure that you add this into the path variable so that uh, the environment can identify where the graph is installed so yeah make sure you click you select this option and leave it default leave it default and install yep it's done let's verify the installation is complete uh, using the command dot v yes it is installed i think we are all set um, uh, let me go and pick up one solution detail uh, from my blog so for this one uh, how to load s3 to uh, load the data from s3 to rds uh, postgres instance so i have wrote a blog about it um, here is the solution like i have the etl app the pushing the files and you know like doing a lot of stuff here so i have written solution details like what all the components we used and the architecture so i'm gonna copy this and go to chat gpt and then paste it here and i'm going to use the prompt um, which is like for the solution for the following solution here is where i'm going to put in those details about the architecture and generate the architecture code using python package diagram so i'm gonna copy this page uh, the code and merge it with this and copy the rest of them bottom of this yeah we are all set let me uh, explain one more time so you have the prompt uh, for the following solution and here is where you need to paste in the details about your architecture that you wrote for your blog or for your project and then the rest of the template after you copy pasted that solution so i think we are ready boom so it created the code let's copy and go to the directory and create a file maybe we can name it first diagram.py let me shrink it a bit so that you can see it and save the file and make sure is there any errors in here if you look at this one um, okay let's try to execute this code as is I didn't know. into that directory now oh there is an error cannot import s3 from 
integration yeah we should not completely believe the ai so let's see in integration package do we have s3 no we don't have so it should be in storage uh, let's see whether s3 is there Yeah, he provided alias for this one. So it is there and let's see what else is missing. I think that's it. You don't need this diagram to create whatever you created with context this will be your diagram name if you look at the code right it's very simple it's basically pulling off each components from the diagrams package and you set the diagram context this is basically your diagram name and if any additional configurations uh, you know in terms of size or anything you want to customize that you can do it here and with cluster that means it's a hierarchy in the diagram you have one cluster called on premise and aws within that you can containerize all these app it's very simple and you know let's run this okay the program executed successfully and let's see the output yeah on-premise application pushing the file to s3 and access cameras and even bridge is scheduled to run on 10 a.m and it's going to trigger step function that's going to trigger other functions and load the data into rts so to access s3 in the public's service we're going to use a three endpoint via the private submit yeah i know it's not 100 percent perfect but you can you know if you provide the correct details to our ai it's going to create the correct one so here is the result thanks for watching